गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी सिविल करियर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम शिव प्रसाद एज यू नो टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू द इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स फर्स्ट द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज मैकेनिक्स मैकेनिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ द बिहेवियर ऑफ बॉडीज दैट आर एक्टेड अपॉन बाई फोर्सेस इट मीन्स अ बॉडी एक्सपीरियंसड अ फोर्सेस the study of these effects is called mechanics mechanics is subdivided into two main branches first one is statics second one is dynamics statics is the branch which is study the behavior of bodies which are in the rest dynamics is the branch of mechanics which deals with the bodies which are in the motion okay first one statics is the study which deals with the condition of bodies in equilibrium subjected to external forces as we say in other words when the force of system acting on a body is balanced then the system has no external effect on the body therefore the body is in equilibrium as i told dynamics is a branch of mechanics in which the forces and their effects on the bodies in motion are studied then the dynamics is also subdivided into two parts first one is kinematics second one is kinetics then what is kinematics kinematics deals with the geometry of motion of bodies without and application of external forces kinetics deals with the motion of bodies with the application of external forces then we are move on to the hydro mechanics what is hydro mechanics hydro mechanics deals with the fluids which remains at rest or in motion hydro mechanics is the study which deals with the condition of fluid under which it can remain at rest or in motion hydro mechanics is also subdivided into hydrostatics and hydrodynamics hydrostatics is the study of fluid at rest because static means a body is at rest then hydrodynamics hydrodynamics is the study of fluid in motion because dynamics is the branch of mechanics which deals with the bodies in motion right then what is rigid body a body is said to be a rigid if it's remain its shape and size even if the external forces are applied on it then we have, we will look on some basic terms used in mechanics the first one is mass mass is independent of place and locations because it is also independent of acceleration due to gravity so the mass is defined as the quantity of the matter possessed by a body is called mass the mass of a body cannot change unless the body is damaged and part of it is physically separated okay then length it is a concept to measure linear distances what a length is a concept to measure linear distances okay time is the measure of succession of events the successive event selected is the rotation of earth about its own axis and this is called a day then space any geometric region in which the study of a body has been done is called space displacement displacement is a vector quantity we will discuss vector and scalar quantities in the further sessions now displacement is the distance moved by a particle in the specified 
directions okay next velocity the rate of change of displacement with respect to time is defined as velocity velocity is also a vector quantity okay next acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time the unit of acceleration is meter per second square momentum the product of mass and velocity is called momentum therefore momentum p equals to mass m multiplied by velocity v what is particle it can be defined as an object which has only mass and no size therefore a particle means a such a body cannot exist theoretically because particle doesn't have size when we deal with the problems involving a distance considerably larger compared to the size of the body the body may be treated as particle for example if we consider a large object like earth and a man a man compared to a size of earth is a particle in the next session we will discuss laws of mechanics i hope you understand the basic terms and introduction of engineering mechanics if you like this please like share and subscribe this channel thank you